hi guys welcome back to my channel and this is your girl lady v i want to thank all of you that have supported the channel whether you liked a video you shared the video you subscribed to the channel or you commented on a video whether the comment was in my favor yes or no i sincerely appreciate i can only learn and grow from the comments i can just be better for from them yeah so all critique is not bad critique so thank you for those of you that will support the channel after watching this video I want to thank you all and please listen to this video in its entirety at least for six minutes <laughs> listen to this video all right so um, everybody knows about this Andre young man from Jamaica he used to be affiliated with a certain political party so everybody knows about this young man because he has been on the media quite a lot lately so um, you know a lot of persons are saying he's I need to get this information here a lot of persons are saying you know they think he's troubled they think he's messy they think he's this they think he's that I am not here to judge the young man's motives as to why but let's just jump right into it from since creation, from since we can remember, all of us, from since we can remember, and we have been hearing about politics and political parties, we have been hearing about corruption in every country. In every single country, we would have heard about corruptions and different things, impropriety, and all sorts of things. So this is nothing new to us, right? Now, what is Andre's mission? I don't know. I don't know if you know. And if you know, I'd like you to enlighten me. Because we have to learn from each other. Now, there's the argument that he is gay. Uh, if he's gay, if, operative word, if, if he's gay, what is sexuality has to do with what he is alleging what is sexuality has to do with what he is alleging i don't see how that come into play i don't see what that have to do with it what bearing should that have on what he is alleging how that affects or dilutes his message is beyond me because his sexuality is just that, his sexuality. What we need to be examining in, what we should be examining is not his sexuality, is the content. What he is a legend and we need to analyze that or try to comprehend that as best as we can to see if we can come up with a rational or if there's any semblance or grain of fruit in what he's saying. Now, I don't doubt when a person is upset and when passion sets in and when a person is hurt, angry, frustrated, even bitter, even jealous, they could say a whole lot. But you have to remember, Everyone is going to want to tell their sides of the story and tell their truth. If this is his truth, what can we say? I'm not here to judge the young man based on his sexuality or even his motives. It's just that I want to know what is his mission. What is Andre's ultimate goal because truth is the kinds of information that is divulging could cause upheaval 
it could cause major disruption and not just of evil and disruption it could cause major casualty also because some of these allegations that he has made publicly is mind-boggling is thought-provoking it's jarring it is a trigger in some senses so I am honestly wondering what is his true mission, goal, motives. None of us know that but the young man. But let me say this. That young man is in pain. What type of pain? Many different types of pain. Seems like there is childhood traumas, psychological traumas, and maybe rejection, neglect, or betrayal. It seems as if Andre feel used and discarded by many persons. The kinds of information that he's putting out, earlier I watched a video and um, he was on a call and he was speaking to a person with a V name and he was saying some things, you know. And um, then I realized that the young man maybe is getting scared, which is normal because we as Jamaicans, we know how the Jamaican culture works. And we know what we always say about persons that bring truth or information to the forefront we call them informers and we know what our culture would have inculcated into us about them a lot of artists sings songs in those same vein having nothing to do with a person who speak up and speak what they know and speak the truth we label them as informer and we think we have a solution for them which is not right truth is truth and if it is a truth it should be told now I am personally worried for the young man honestly when I say I'm worried I'm worried for him and I think he is getting scared because after completing a video allegedly from his mouth some law enforcement personnel was in his yard or in the area where he lived maybe every presence of them and he felt like they're here and he was asking someone on the phone they're here and the person said no and he said but why as soon as i finish the live they're here so it is telling you that he's concerned for his safety he's worried he's scared is afraid and that is such a justified feeling because we know how things operate when you come against persons who you should not have spoken up about now I am not alluding to anything I'm not saying the young man is telling the truth nor am I saying it's not the truth I was not there I don't know but what I'm getting is this young man knows some things that maybe speaking them could put others in jeopardy and also himself. Now, I know when we're angry and we're hurt, we speak from a place of hurt because we want justice. We want revenge and we want to get evil. But is it worth it getting the justice, getting the revenge and getting evil? If it means getting yourself in trouble and you know trouble is a range of different things is it worth it getting justice getting revenge getting equal anything if it means you may put yourself 
in a very tight space? Is it worth it? Now, I understand that truth has to be told, but even the persons who normally comment on this young man's vlogs and videos, encouraging him to say everything that he knows, what level of protection are you offering this young man? How much do you care about his mental state? You just want to hear what he has to say so you can say he knows because he was in there with them. And if he says that, then that is what it is. What about his safety? What about his mental state and stability? The fact that he would have been labeled as many things right now. Because for one, why is sexuality had to be mentioned? And you now, y'all are calling him an informer. Some person is saying he's a snitch. Some persons are saying he's an attention seeker. Some person is saying this is a jealous fit. But what is it? He's making a line of argument. He's calling some major name, major, major, major names and things. We recall those two names to be persons that everybody rate and love and and when they you know met their untimely demise persons was persons were enraged person was saying oh look out for the retaliation look out for this look out for that people question what had happened what was behind it who was behind it now this young man maybe is clapping um, these names in the whole of this, which will stir up some things, will cause minds to go off in different di direction. And to be honest, Mr. Andre, if you happen to see this, I just want to tell you, I am worried for you. I am scared for you. I know you're hurting. I can see it. I can hear it. It is as raw. It is as palpable. There's no mistaken of anything here. You're very hurting. Some, some, you know, something happened that really causes you to feel betrayal and other things. But I want to encourage you, young man, in speaking your truth. I want you to protect your God-given life. I want you to protect yourself because we know politics in itself is messy and it is awful and it can be. We have seen, we have seen it around the world, around the globe. We see it every time parties change during the campaign for election. People get crazy and heartless void of compassion, rational, reasoning, justification, understanding. Some persons are so loyal to party lines that they don't care. I am blue, I am red. I am green, I am orange. And that is what they see. Some persons are like homegrown voters. I was born and raised, seen my family green, I am green. They don't vote on issues. They don't vote on um, things that benefits them. They don't vote on portfolio and manifesto. They vote, they don't vote their conscience. For, that's what I wanted to say originally. Persons do not vote on issues and conscience anymore persons vote loyalty to party lines or to their pocket and bottom lines basically so i understand even though it's the truth maybe if it is or you know persons will see it differently if it doesn't work with their side of the fence young man i feel your pain i know you know because i have listened to you and you're so intelligent so I know you know you're doing this at great risk to yourself and your life could be in grave danger. But I want to say to you, I empathize with you as a woman, as a mother, 
and as a motivational speaker, a coach, and an influencer. I want you to take some precaution to protect yourself. Really, really protect yourself. And just know, be guarded with your words. I don't want you to self-implicate yourself, whether by association or accessory to doing before or after. I want you to take a pause. I want you to take a minute to analyze and examine carefully what you're going to say before you say it. Because even though all of us, vloggers, readers, anybody, may like, not that I'm saying I like because I have not watched the whole series of things, but even though some persons will come up in the comments and make it seem like they're supporting you, at the end of the day, if you are implicated, you are on your own to fight your own battle. I really empathize with you. I see the pain in your eyes. I hear it in your voice. And it is very evident that you are hurting. I pray God will grant you peace. But most of all, I pray God will protect you. Young man, stay strong. But please... Please, think. Think before you speak. Guard your life because you only have one. I pray you strength to fight your fight. But in all you do, be honest, be true. But more, be prudent, be wise. Guard your life. Have a great one, everybody. And please remember to support this channel. Like the video. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel and comment on the video. Even if you don't agree with me, let's agree to disagree respectfully. And if you know more, please update me. I'd like to know. God bless you all. Stay safe, Andre. You stay safe, sir. And I hope the Lord will work it out for you so you can find peace, stability. You can be safe and forgiveness will come from all sides. God bless you, sir. Bye, guys. See you in the next one.